Let's use the sprite function. First, let's draw an 8x8 sprite. To demonstrate, we only need the draw function. As usual, start by clearing the screen. The basic sprite function is SPR. Some functions can be given information to change how the function does its job, and we put that information inside the parentheses. Each piece of information that we give a function is called an argument. You can think of arguments as options or settings for the function because they give you some control over what the function will do. This SPR function actually takes seven arguments. The first is the sprite number. You can find the number of your sprite here. The second argument is the X position, and the third is the Y position. So for the X, it counts 10 pixels to the right, and the Y counts 10 pixels down. So it will draw the sprite about here. By giving it position 10, 10, it is actually putting the top left corner of the whole sprite at 10, 10. Let's just mark it to show where 10, 10 is on the game screen. So that green pixel is position 10x and 10y. The next two arguments are optional. They are for the size of the sprite in tiles. One tile is 8 by 8 pixels. So this dog is one tile wide and one tile tall. What if we change it to two tiles wide and tall? It doesn't look like anything changed, but it is actually now drawing these two tiles wide and these two tiles tall. So it's actually drawing this much of our sprite sheet. I can prove that to you by drawing a green border here and leave the size at 2x2. Two two. So when we run it, you should see the dog and the green border. Now let's set the size back to 1x1 one one, so that it draws only this much without the green border. So with these two size arguments, we can draw bigger sprites with the same function. Let's draw the same dog, but in 2x2 two two tiles. That's 16 by 16 pixels. The sprite sheet shows the real size of the sprite, so I look here to see if it looks good. I think the eyes need to be closer. That looks good. So now we have a sprite that is two tiles wide and two tiles tall. Let's draw it by using the same SPR function. Remember the first argument is the sprite number. That's the number of the top left tile. Even though this dog uses sprite number three, the function will start drawing from sprite number two. Notice how the selection size can change, but the sprite number stays at 2, or whatever the top left corner tile is. So we write 2 here, and let's draw it at 10x and 30y. 10 pixels right, 30 pixels down. And this time, the sprite really is 2 tiles wide by 2 tiles tall. Now we have a sprite that is double the size, using the same function. Let's even double it again, just like we did with the first two. And I'll draw the same dog, but in 32 by 32 pixels, so it can be even more detailed. Looking good. SPR again. Now let's find the sprite number. Our selection already shows sprite number 4. Even though sprite 4 is empty, 
It is the starting point of this whole dog. So we put 4. And let's draw it at 10x and 60y. That should be around here. Next is the number of tiles Y. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the number of tiles tall. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's run it. And there, we have our three different sized dogs from the same SPR function. But remember, I said this function can take seven arguments and I have only shown you five. The last two arguments are also optional for flipping the sprite and must be true or false. If I set the tiny dog to false, false, nothing changes because false is the default setting. Let's duplicate this tiny dog line of code to draw more of them. I'll increase their X so that they are drawn to the right of the last one. Now pay attention to that second tiny dog while we change each dog to flip in a different way. The first flip argument is for the X axis. So true flips the second dog to face backwards. The next and last argument is for flipping the Y axis. True flips the third dog upside down. The last dog, we will flip both X and Y, so it's backwards and upside down. Since it's all the same function, we can have the same control of the bigger sprites too. I'll make another of them both, flip their X axis, and move them to the right by increasing their X position. And there you go! Now you can draw your sprites with a lot more control, all while using the same simple function SPR. If you have questions or suggestions, leave a comment. And of course, subscribe to show us you want more.